dat die kruike olie gereed het, dat die engele die kruike olie oor ons gaan uitgeet. En dis goud, die olie is goud. Dankie daarvoor, Heere. Ons vraag vir die salving. Dis net die salving wat die jyke kan verbreek. Dis die salving van die soete teenvoordigheid. En ons verwelkom, ons sê kom, kom doen jy die werk. Dit is jy werk, dis jy breid. Kom Heere, kom herstel, kom genees. Kom doen dit wat jy moet doen. Is ons uitroep in die naam van Yeshua, Jesus, ons koning. Dankie daarvoor. Amen. Amen. Dit was nou baie mooi wat ek gesien het, en ek het rarig so verwacht, dat die uitgieting, ek weet nie wanneer vader dit gaan doen, en of hy die hele tyd dit gaan doen nie, maar ek sien net die kruike genees, en sy naam is soos balsam. En dis sy naam, wat hy oor ons gaan uitgeet, as sy bruid. Want ons is, ons is allemaal maar dier die dinge, en dinge wat maar in ons leven gebeur het, en ons het nie gevra daarvoor nie. En so ons is hier, en ons kyk na ons bruide gom, en waar die belofte kom in Psalm 128, that if we walk, if we fear God and we walk in His ways, and we walk close in obedience to His word, then He will bless us. And the legacy, dit wat die Heere beloof is, die belofte is, dit wat hy sê is ja en amen, want ons sê so baie, maar hoekom gebeur hierdie dinge nie, hoekom kry ons nog so zwaar, hoekom gaan het nog so moeilik? But He's promising us, dat hier dinge sal gebeur in ons harte, waar hy sy bruid kom genees, van dit waar jy miskien lang mee loop, diep, diep dinge in jou binneste, wat jy self nie eers by kan uitkom nie, kan ons dokter Jesus, dokter Yeshua, kan hy kom, en hy kan kom werk, maar jy moet om toestemming gee. Ek wil um, vanavond net, Ons jylle thema, laat ek nie hoor, is there anybody that does not understand Afrikaans? Kan ek maar mix, is dit recht, kan ons South African praat? <laughs> is dit oké, okay? kan ek om, kan ons die tale gooi? I don't want to speak just Afrikaans en dan is daar van jylle wat, wat nie, there's some of those that won't understand. Are you oké? Okay? Jylle Afrikaans? I'm going to mix it. I will. The slides are English, so fortunately you'll be able to follow with the slides. So, it's, uh, so I'm going to mix it. Right. Want ons is more South African. Nah. Okay. So the theme of this weekend is restoring relationships in families and fellowships. And we know that God is a father. He's a papa. And he created families. He said mommies and daddies must go and be obedient, be fruitful and multiply. And so, um, in the last couple of years, but really the last year, um, we've, Roly and I have been very obedient to God's commandment, be fruitful and multiply. Ons het vijf klein kinderkies, baie vinnig gekry. <laughs> so ons is nou opa en oma van vijf, and I tell you, it's the best. Ons mens moet eigenlijk eerst opa en oma word voor je pa en ma word. Ek dink my kinders kyk vir my en sê, jy het die maar dit nooit met ons gedoen nie. Want my kleinkies kan nou alles doen. Ek was so kooi met hulle. But um, the whole thing is to restore families. And our heart is for marriages. And so a lot of what we'll be doing is just to healing, to speak about the healing and the restoration, about families, brothers and sisters, marriages, um, children with parents. Ons gaan rarig die Heere vertrou om a diep geneesing in gesinne to bring. Okay, so understanding the difference between the spirit and the soul, this baie belangrik. Jylle weet toe hulle die Bible geskryf het, het hulle nie mooi lekker verstaan, wat is die verskil nie, en hulle het baie keer in die vertalings, het hulle som in die siel en die gees gemix. And so they didn't understand the difference. And so tonight I want to just be very practical because 
before we go deeper into inner healing, to really open up and see where the broken parts, what happened to me in the past, why is it that I'm still struggling, why do I have deep stuff inside of me that I can't get to, then we, we have to really trust the Father tonight to say, you know, Lord, there could be things of my past that I've even suppressed that I can't even get to in memory. But with the anointing, as jy toelaat, sal God hy goed begin oopmaak. En dan gaan daar dinge, die Heere gaan, gaan vir jou goed herinner, vanavond, wanneer jy jou kop neerloop op die kissen. Your, your soul sleeps, because your body sleeps, but your spirit's not going to sleep. And that's why you have to understand the role of the spirit. It's basic for us to go forward. And I want to do it very simple, very easy, just understanding the difference between the soul and the spirit so that I really can know that when I pray, and I pray that what I'm going to teach you tonight, I'm going to show you scripture, that there's a difference between pain in the soul and pain in the spirit. And as a counsellor, if you are here as a counsellor, when, when the person sits in front of you, jy moet onderskui, is daai pijn in die gees, of is die pijn in die siel? Want jy, jy bid dan specifiek in daai richting, maar jy moet dit weet, jy moet dit verstaan. En so ek wil, hy dit was een mooi oorbreek vanavond, so kom ons kyk een bykie, dat Goody Father, to I alles mock. When God created the whole world, and we see this beautiful world around us, and I know that Gauteng is beautiful. Daar is rarig mooi plekke hier so. Maar voor jylle jimmel toe gaan, moet jylle kaap toe kom. <laughs> jylle moet kom oefen. Hoe gaan die jimmel wees? <laughs> But every place where God puts us, it's beautiful because God made it. And you know, for many years, I was running counseling, counseling. Van die ochend tot die aand doen ek berading. En eer en eer met mense spandeer. En een aand onthou ek, ek stap so uit om die mense te groet. En ek kyk op en ek sien die beautiful jimmel en die sterre. And it was like, just the Lord whispered and he said, when last did you see that? And think about the wonder of my creation. You. And I realized I've been so spiritually minded that I'm no earthly good. And you know, there's a saying that the rabbis say that one day you'll stand before the Father and give account, not for what, only for what you've done wrong, but also, when you didn't appreciate the beauty of creation. Die wereld wat hy vir ons gemaakt het, om te geniet. Die voels, die blomme, die tuine. Man, die wurmpies. Al hy dinge. Our God made it. And we must appreciate. Jylle weet, as a ouwer a babiekie kry, nou ons het nou baie van dit geoefen, met ons kinders en die kleinkinders, hoor jy so, het hulle ure prems gesoek, en een kot gesoek, en een teddybeer gesoek, en die rechte kleere, en het hulle nou te kere gegaan, om die rechte goed te soek, vir die baba, so dat, as babiekie kom, the room is perfect, the parents are prepared, baby is ready, come baby, come, Everything has been done for baby. I remember coming home with Renee, my firstborn, and I'd done her little room up. And I walked from the hospital and I walked in with her. And I'm, I mean, this little baby is just lying there. And I'm got to, Renee, look, look what I did. Mommy made this. Look what. And I knew little Renee, her spirit hurt. Of a stanky kon het nog nie verstaan nie. Och, yes, het goed. En dis wat ek vir julle wil oorbreek. Julle moet verstaan wie is ons. You must know who you are. That you're spirit. And so when God made this beautiful world and he put all the plants and everything there and he wanted to have these beautiful flowers and trees for us to look at. He spoke. 
We know God spoke everything into being. He spoke to the earth. And what happened? The trees came forth. The flowers came forth. Now if I go and I take the tree and I pull it out of its source, God spoke to the earth. The earth is the source of the tree. If I remove it from its source, what happens? The tree will die. What about water and fish? When God wanted fish, he spoke to the water. The fish came. If I catch the fish, take it out of its source, what gebeur? Die vis gaan doe het. Ek haal hom uit sy bron uit. Nou, toe God vir jou en my maak, daar is nou so'n bykie representation van ek en jy, spirit man, when he made us, Come on, who did he speak to? What did he speak to? Onthou, daar was die aarde, daar was die water. Die stof, wat nog? Wat sê hulle? Who did he speak to? Amper. <laughs> he said, let us. Make mankind. So he spoke to himself. And what did he do? He took of his very own self. And God is spirit. And he took of his same essence. And he put it into you and me. Is that not amazing? Kan jylle nou sien, hoekom like ons soos ons pa? It's not the meat box. Nee, it's spirit. Because our father is spirit. We have different meat boxes. Different paint. But we have one father. And our spirits come from our father. So I want to illustrate that, Marita, kan jy my kom help met jy matches? En Janai, waar is het sy? Kruip sy weg, Janai, kom my help, sublief. Ek um, kan jylle, en kruip, kruip jou maaikie, kruip jou maaikie. Pa, kom. Kom, John. Nee, staan jylle net so, en laat jy hierdie in eerste. Oké, okay, die Heere weet, was net een illustratie. Oké. Okay. <laughs> And this is, we're going to represent this God with this candle. Because God, if I think of God, what is God? God is spirit. What is spirit? Ooh, knows it, knows it's worker. What? No, that's a spirit. God is spirit. And if I read the Bible, then I see spirit is light. Spirit is glory. Jesus is shining brighter than the sun. So I want to represent God the Father, the year I wear my heart, Met hierdie kers. Ok, God the Father. Nou, Adam en Eva. Jy moet Adam wees, jy kan nou nie Adam wees. <laughs> John, vergryp daar vir Adam. Maar jy is nog nie gelaid nie. En, en Eva. Oh, nee, nee, nog nie, nog nie, nog nie, nog nie. Nog nie. Ok, ok. <laughs> ok, God the Father is burning. Spirit, light. So, he creates Adam. And he breathes. He breathes. And he puts his very own essence. Sy self te licht. Het hierdie licht minder geword? Ha-ha. Dan denk ek aan al die mense in China. En al die mense in India. En ek sê, joh, hier is daar nog van die oor. <laughs> But he doesn't grow any less. His light is still burning. So ons kan hoeveel mense aan die, aan die brand sit met hierdie kers. And it will still burn the same. And so Adam, and then we know Eve comes and she is, oh sorry. She's created from Adam's side. There we go. Daar zei. Daar zei. Oef, mat. Okay, so now, oh, you're fucking. 
Ja, van kom ons blaas nog so bykie. Mag kom bykie groter. Dan sê. Nee man, Eva, kie. Sien jy, dis die moeilikheid, Eva. O, is ek al Eva. Dis Eva, joh. Nee, nee, hy wil nie. Ook al jylle kan nie meis. Nee, 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 kom ons brand om. Nee, nee, ons moet om brand. Het jy mes? O, plan maak, ok. Ons moet vir Eva nie brand kry, so. Kom nie dood wees, nie. Kom ons saai. Daar is hy. Ons ben mooi. Daar is hy, nou sal sy, nou sal sy blink. Ai, 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 Eva, kie, kom Eva. Is dit een leiter? O, mees, mooi. Sjoe, jy sien, 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 Mooi, John. Adam vat nie nonsens nie. Halleluja vir Adam. Daar is hy. Let's try. Ok, Eva, kie? Dit is nou so moeilik om daai. Lig hier. Daar is hy. Halleluja. John? Het jy om? Waar is hy? Waar is hy? Ok. Ons is... So ons is nou gemaakt in die beeld. We are created in the image of God with the same light spirit. Ok, we created in God's image. And then we know that the snake came. And what was so sad, I thought that Adam was somewhere digging in the garden, but it wasn't. He stood right next to her, and he heard what the snake said. And God had given Adam a command, and he said, guard and protect. Because you see, when he made Adam, Adam was made out of the dust. But when he made Eve, he used a different Hebrew word. Did you know that? For Adam, he just, he just created him from the dust. Just a normal word. But for Eve, the word in Hebrew, is like an architect that designs a house, like a perfect design. She was built. Jelle girls, ons is gebouw, om te hou. And so God built us. It's a different Hebrew word. Is it amazing? And the year is said for Adam, Adam, so is he cherry op die koek van my jelle skeping. Pas haar op. Look after her. Protect her. And then we see the snake comes and he doesn't go to Adam. He goes to Eve. And he comes with a deception. You know the story. She eats of the fruit and what happens? Nee, ons het so gesikkel om die lichie aan die gang te kry. And so Adam sees this whole thing and he sees, but He's lost his wife because somehow there's a disconnect now. Her spirit is not burning anymore. She's not clothed with glory anymore. And I say, say, what do you eat? What do you freaking eat? And what do I do? I do it. I fought it. And there, what happened? They were cut off from their source. And God said, if you cut off from your source, you will And so every baby that gets born in this world today gets born with a dead spirit. You're not connected to your source. Jy kan kerk toe gaan. Jy kan hoe hard probeer elke nieuwe jaar. Kan jy probeer sê, hierdie jaar, jyre. It doesn't work. To kom Yeshua, Jesus, and I say, you must be born again. 
Nou, hoe nou, ek kan nou nie weer in hulle was die mekaar, en dit is nie een fysische geboorte nie. Dis hierdie, dis hierdie waarvan Jesus gepraat het, waar hy gesê het, you've got to be born again, you've got to be reconnected back to your source. Otherwise, we've got nothing to work with. Jy is afgesnui van God. Al probeer jy hoe hard, al probeer jy hoe religious wees, kerk toe gaan. Ek het my kerk. Ek lees my bybel. Ek dien my God. Maar jy kan nog steeds afgesnui wees. If you're not born again, you're not reconnected. Dit is die woorde van Jesus. Daar is net een pad. There's not, a, there's not a whole lot of ways back to God. Uh-uh. There's one way. It's through the blood of his son, Yeshua. En wat dan gebeur is die mens, die mens, omdat hy nou soek, hy is een geestelike weese. Nou, nou is die mens verloore en hy is honger, nou gaan hy kerk toe en hy dink, o, dit gaan my red. En ook probeer hy elke zondag in die kerk, en jylle weet, dit was mos die ordentelike ding om te doen, jy met zondag kerk toe gaan. Allemaal gaan zondag kerk toe. To die bergies, jylle weet daar in die kaap, as jy vir hom nou een ietsie gee, die Heere sê in jou, jy weet, hulle is baie religies, <laughs> so ver van die Heere af, but they know all about it. But you see, they cut off from the source. And that's what so many people are. They try all religious ways. They try Muhammad. They try Allah. They try Hinduism. They try witchcraft and ancestral worship. You see, they know there's something missing. I'm a spiritual being, but I'm not connected. En wat dan gebeur, is dan begin ek my bloot te, op te maak en bloot te stel aan gevalle engele, demone, want hulle is mos spirit, en daar is mos power. And so where there's power, that's gonna draw me. That's why the young people go into Satanism, and they try the devil's power. So they try witchcraft, because they can see the devil's power. Die kerk, moet die kracht van God terugkry. We need to see the revival fire again. Because only then we will see the people start coming back. And so, this is what man has been doing for jare. En, en hoeveel van ons, dan probeer ons die waarseers, en ons probeer fortuin vertellers, en ons probeer die songomas, en hulle gooi vir ons die bene. We trying, weet jylle wat, ons land, so, 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 die, die ouwens wat, grond gehad het en probeer het om, om, om volk te kry en te kom werk. Hulle het verbond gesluit met die voorvader geeste en, en, en hulle het deels gemaakt en hulle het song om, tot nou toe die politie, jylle, ek werk met die politie, daar is so veel goed daar, dat hulle song om as het wat saam met hulle werk om hulle sake op te los. Dit is shocking. But why? Because man has been cut off. He's not connected to his source. But he's trying all sorts of whatever the devil gives him. Because that man is a spiritual being. So I try this and I get connected to demons and I try that. And, and, and so I word ek in allerhande goede ingelei en ek word ingeënt in dit en toegewei aan dat. And then I get spiritually bound. Nou, hierdie naweek praat ons oor die wonde. Ons gaan nie praat oor bindings nie, maar daar is een hele ander kant van die minstuk. Wat ook een hele naweekse teaching is om dier daai goed te werk. Waar ons die bindinge moet breek, waar ons die vloeke moet breek, wat dier die voorvaders gekom het. But we've got to understand, I'm spirit. And I've got to get reconnected back to God's spirit. En so, kom daar a dag wat iemand van my die gospel bedien, en van my sê, you've got to be born again. Weet jy dat jy kan weet, dat jy jimmel toe gaan? Do you know that you can know, that you know, that your name is written in God's book of life? En jy is so excited, nie, waar, waar staan het in die bybel? 1 Johannes 5, daar kan ek gaan begin lees, en het sê, ek sal weet, dat ek weet, dat ek weet, dat ek weer gebore is. En daar moet iets met my gebeur, dit moet radikaal wees. Want as ek kyk na die vroege disciples en ek sien, toe hulle tot wedergeboorte gekom het, was dit groot. 
die hele wereld het tot stilstand gekom en sê, wat gaan nou hier aan? So dat was sigbaar, mens het radikaal verander. En so dit is dan, wanneer ek my knie buig, en ek sê, vader ek is een sondaar. Ek, ek besef, as ek vanavond te sterwe kom, dan, dan gaan ek help toe. I don't know you. I don't know you as my Lord, I'm not connected to you. En dan, as ek my knie buig, dan kom vader, vader skies, dan kom vader, hey, dan maak ons om weer vol, kom ons probeer Adam pie. Daar is hy. Ja. Doe maar, jylle kry die prentjie. En Adam en Eva word weer connected to the source. And that is the key. All of us has to go this way. I've got to bow my knee. Ons het het vanavond gesing, Adonai. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Daar is geen ander weg nie. Net sy bloed het die pad gemaakt terug na die vader toe. So that you can be reconnected back to the father, to the source to the light. Ek hoop dat dit vir julle so bykie meer oopgebreek oor, what is my spirit? My spirit is light. Ok, sit julle kersies neer, dan wil ek hee, julle moet vir my hierdie, John, kan ek jou vraag dat jy die body is, daar, en Marita, jy is die soul, en kom staan jy hier, so dan is jy die spirit. Ok. Nou moet ons verder verstaan, die verskil tussen spirit, soul en body. Toe die Heere ons maak, as een babiekie in die moederskoot gevorm word, dan weet ons die eerste ding, as die sperm in die ovum, when the sperm in the ovum comes together, God breathes, en daar is lewe. En die eerste ding wat gevorm word, is gees. So, as, as ons berading doen, en jy, daar sit een volwasse persoon voor jou, en hulle sê vir jou, um, joh Amanda, ek het verskrikkelijk angst, ek het vrees, um, dit gaan vrees ek slecht met my, en help my, sublief, bid net vir my, ek weet nie waar kom het vandaan nie, maar ek, ek moet op pille gaan, en ek weet dis nie die Heerese wil nie, en dan bid ons, en ons vraag, vader, waar kom dit vandaan, what is the root of this fear? Where is this coming from? En terwijl ons bid, en dit is iemand met wie ek gebid het hier, jare terug by Iskor, ons het in Van Abel Park geblei, en die ou het hoog op die krane gewerk, en toe het hy verskrikkelijke vrees, en hy sê vir my man, ek my job verloor, I'm so afraid of heights, and we prayed, and we said, Father, where does this come from? And the Lord showed him, he got the vision, and he saw in the womb, hy is in sy maas en moederskoot, en sy, sy is bezig om een abortie, sy probeer een abortie doen op hom. En hy skrik, en hy sê, kan het waar wees? Kan het wees? Het my maat, ek sê, ja, dit kan wees. Kom ons vraag, en ons bid, en ons werke dier, hy sê, is reg, maar ek gaan met my maat check. Hy is huis toe en hy het met sy maag gaan check en het was toe so. Sy het so geskrik toe hy vir haar vraag, ma, wou ma my gehad het? Jo, toe baar sy net uit en draan en sy sê nie. En toe kom het uit dat sy het probeer een abortie pleeg op hom. Nou, as jy met een medische dokter praat wat nie geestmens is nie, wat nie hierdie goed verstaan nie, sal hy sê, Amanda, impossible. Dat is niet een manier dat hij dit voor jou kon vertellen, nie. Want weet je wat? Die babiekie, die babiekie was so klein, maat net uitgevind sy swanger. Vijf, zes weke swangerskap. Dis klein, klein. En nou wil jy vir my sê, hy kan onthou, dit was, dit, sy ma wou hom aborteer. Meer is impossible. Want jy sien, die babiekie word nog, daar is nog baie werk wat God doen om die babiekie aan mekaar te weef. En siel werk glad nie, want siel moet wacht vir die lichaam. Want jy sien, die lichaam is, is, 
hierdie twee werk vrees ek nou saam, want siel kan niks doen as die lichaam nie daar is nie. So siel wacht ook, tot babiekie so tien, uh, so, so ses weekie, sewe, ons, ons kleinkie, ons kleinste kleinkie is nou ses week oud. En sy het vandag van oma gesmaal. En sy het al smaal, ach, dit was so beautiful. Nou wat gebeur is, haar seelste mensie, haar persoonlijkheid, is nou bezig om dier die lijfie van my te smaal. So die lijfie sê, die, die seel moes wacht, want lichaam moes nege maande gevorm word, en ses weke, voordat die breinkie genoeg connecties het om te smaal vir oma. Verstaan jy hoe werk dit? So, as ek kyk waaruit bestaan die seel, dan sien ek, wow, ek hy seel bestaan uit denke, wil, emoties. And so the Bible says that my soul David tells me, Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And dan sê hy, He leadeth me, and dan sê hy, He restoreth my soul. So daar is een ander funksie, dit is nie born again spirit nie. Hier is een ander werk wat moet plaas vind met my siel, want my siel is my persoonlijkheid. Dis hoe ek dink, dis van babiekie tyd af. Want jy sien, as ek gebore word, is ek een blanko stuk papier, en ek weet nie as wie ek is nie. En so die manier wat my pa en my ma oor my praat, how they love me, if they say they love me, if they want me, all of that is being impressed upon my soul. And the Bible says that as I think, so I am. And so if I think and believe, I'm a loser, I'm stupid. If your teacher at school told you, jy stupid man, jy kan nie wiskunde doen nie. Ek was een jyvrou. En ek weet, die onnie kan een kind maak of breek. Waar jy in die army afgekraak is en gesê, ek mag jy, jy kan niks, jy is een niks werd man. Jou paard vir jou geskel en vir jou gesê, Ja, yeah, ek kan nie verstaan waar kom jy vandaan nie. You see, you start to believe all those. That's, that's what is your soul. Now God says that there's restoration that's got to happen here. In Jacobus 1 vers 21, 22 sê nog meer. En hy sê dat jylle siele moet nog gered word. Hy praat met wedergebore kinders van God. En hy sê, jylle siele moet nog gered word dier die ingeplante woord van God. So I have to receive the word to renew my mind. Pull down the lies of the devil. Nou dit, dit is wat ons noem die proces van heiligmaking, sanctification. And so we need to understand the role of the soul isn't the same as the spirit. So, my seal, dis so kom ons kom na een naweek toe van innerlijke geneesing. Want die wonde, dit wat my persoonlijkheid, dit waar ek dink ek is een loser, waar ek sit met depressie, ek is born again, definitief, ek weet, ek weet dat ek weer gebore is, but I'm battling with depression, I'm battling with suicidal thoughts, I'm struggling in my marriage, ek sikkel om myself te gee, emotioneel, ek sikkel, Ek is geleef geïsoleerd. Hoekom? Want daar is wonde. Daar is wonde in my siel. My denke. My wil. My wil is gebind. You see, a simple illustration about a will. How's your will? How's it got chains? Why do you need deliverance? Daar is sy gered. Hy spring nie op en sê, rook my, rook my. Dis jy wat omvat verstaan jylle, so daar is jy gebind, nou, as hy belief, jylle hoor my hart, ek judge niemand wat rook nie, hoor, so okay. we love you enough to get you past that cigarette, ons sal jylle nog lief he. because that's a bondage is in your soul, you can be born again, but you can still be smoking, verstaan jy, jy kan nog een verslaving, jy kan pornografie in jou leven he, dis 
Hoeveel mans het ons al meer gewerkt? Ons het nou een hele sexual brokenness naweek gehad. Om te praat oor hierdie area van pornografie en masturbatie en al hierdie goede. Want we living in a time where it's pressing a button and you're into those sites. It's so easy. It's so easy. We're being fed the whole time by the devil. And men don't know how to come out of it. There's a helpline in America. A pastor's helpline. 68% of the calls are from pastors that are hooked on pornography. Pastors hooked on pornography. It's really a problem of our time. And we need to, to, to raise up the men. We need to say, what bondage is in the soul? Waar is jy gebind dat jy nie een soldaat vir die Heere kan wees to say no to the Delilahs that get sent across your path? Potifarse vrouwe, wat kom om jylle te mislei? Want hierdie type vrouwe, die Delilahs, they are out to get the men. They want to destroy Christian marriages. They want to destroy the men. And so we need to understand the battle. And where God says your soul needs to be restored. How? By the word of God. So verstaan jylle, dit is een ander type bediening wat ek hier met my siel. Dat is bevrijding wat ek moet ontvang. My emoties. Dit is hierdie wat een polisman die geweer vat en sy vrou en sy kinders uitmoor en dan omself skiet. He has seen so much death. He's experienced and touched so much death. Praat nou die dag met die klomp poliesmanne daar, in a, soos hoofdkantoor in, in die kaap, waar hulle politie oplei, en jylle, die manne, die goed wat hulle moet sien, die goed wat hulle moet deurmaak, hulle, hulle sit hulle levens Elke keer wat hulle uitgeroep word, ons het in die kamer gaan bid waar hulle hulle bevele kry om uit te gaan. How they put their lives on the line. And they don't know what they're going to meet. I mean, drug lords are no joke. They've just taken two out this week. I work with gangsters. I work with the drug lords. I'm working with the taxi guys down there in the Cape. Jylle weet, dit is a mafia. They've taken two of the guys out this last week. Is nie grap nie. And so these police, they, hulle, hulle het met soveel goed te doen, maar nou moet ons jou leer, as jy met die dood te doen het, wat moet jy doen om jouself skoon te hou? How do you keep yourself clean as a child of God to be able to carry on for tomorrow that you don't wipe out your family? Verstaan jylle, is wonder, ook in die siel dimensie, so I need to be restored in my soul. Dan kom ek by die gees. Raad, heren, nou, die, die man wat gesê het, my ma wil my aborteer. As sy lichaam dit nie kon onthou nie, nou die lichaam het die brein. Ok, halleluja, het die brein. <laughs> John. <laughs> That's why I made you the body. <laughs> En dan, die seel moet wacht vir die lichaam. Hierdie twee werk baie saam. Seel kan niks doen. So as body, if body is in a coma, what happens to soul? This soul can't operate. So if body is handicapped, let's say the mother was drinking, and there's brain damage. Soul is handicapped. But hallelujah, not the spirit. This is the best news. And this is what's so amazing about how God made us. We made in his image. Spirit. So as jy nou, as iemand leer in a coma, is a ou tannie en sy kan nie sterf nie. En die family, oh, dit, dit hou, rek net uit en rek net uit en oma gaan nie dood nie. En die family roep die predikant en sê, sy blief, gaan bid nie vir oma, want ons weet nie of sy gered is nie. Maybe that's what's holding her back. She can't die. So the pastor went there and he looked and yeah, she's almost in a coma. She's gone. So I can't do this next. There's no this machine. Bleep, bleep. But there's no this next. Oma, where are we? But I decided to wait you what. I'm going to be like a child. And I fought Oma's hand. And I said, hello, Oma. 
Ek is, ek is nou by die kant so en so, en ek nou vir jou kom keir. En oma, ek wil net weet, is jou saak met die Heere reg? Oma le, niks. Hy sê, oma, ek ga vir jou bid, en ek gaan jou na die Heere toe lei. Oma, ek as jy my hoor, bid som in jou kop saam met my. Obviously, roep hy, Heere, asjeblief, help net, laat iets nou hier moet gebeur. Oma le, and I begin her to lie. He led her in his sinner's prayer. And when he said, Amen, he saw a big tear running down her cheek. And oh my God, thy aunt, I used to. Her spirit heard. Oh, yes. It heard. Here he Couldn't hear. There was no reaction. But the spirit did. As you for iemand in die hospital moet gaan bid, moet nie vast kyk op wat jy sien nie. Go for the spirit. Go for the spirit. Want dit is hierdie deel, wat die selfde materiaal, the same essence as God Almighty. This is how I made in my father's image. Ek wil julle vertel van een pastoor, Sy story was op televisie en het een boek geskryf en hy vertel dat, hy was by een conferentie, klomp pastore by mekaar en hy is op pad huis toe en hy is in een motorongeluk. En hy, hy weet precies wanneer die ongeluk plaas gevind het, want die klok op die dashboard van sy motor het gestop. So, with that timing of the clock, they knew exactly the time of impact was a big truck, head-on-head collision, and he was dead. So the paramedics were first on the scene. They got him out, did all the tests. He's dead, put him in a body bag, zipped him up, and left him there. Now they're waiting for the police because the police have to do the measurements and write a report. So his friend stayed a bit longer at the conference, and he's coming down the road, and he sees this big commotion truck accident, oh, terrible. And he hears the Spirit of God say to him, go and pray for the man in the blue car. So he stops the car, gets out, and he gets to the blue car, and he sees the body bag. And he looks up, he says, God, he's dead. So he thought, you know, I've never prayed for a dead man. And asked the bang for no, no, like act, no, rarach, stupid. So he decided he'll sing. It's safer. He'll just sing a song. <laughs> I think I would have done that too. <laughs> Baie slim. And I can sit langs die lichaam. And I begin to sing. What a friend we have in Jesus. And his stem kom uit die body bag. All our burdens he will bear. <laughs> En hierdie pastoor is prou op en hy haar kloop. En hy gaan, gaan soek die paramedics. Hy sê, hé, hey, daar, daar, dat man gesing. Hy het gesing uit die, uit die body bag. Hy sê, impossible, he's dead. No, 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 there's a voice, he's singing. En hulle kom, walk up, ja, yeah, hier is die man. And what happened was, he tells his story. He says, with impact. Now they saw that from the time when he sang the song and the clock stopped was 90 minutes. And his book and his DVD is called 90 Minutes in Heaven. And he says that when he was impact, with a, that impact, a tunnel opened, white tunnel, and as frost as light, his spirit left his body and he went through this tunnel and he landed in heaven. And the first one to meet him there was his father. And his father was so excited. He said, come on, boy. Let me show you. I'm going to introduce you. Everybody's so excited. Come. And he was meeting some of the people. He said, wait, where's the master? Where's my master? And Jesus came walking down the pathway. And he fell on his knees. And just like he had thought it would be the glory, the light, he just saw this beautiful Jesus, Yeshua, 
the mighty king and he was on his knees and he's saying, oh, master, I'm so glad I'm here. And the Lord smiled and put his hand on his head and said, my son, it is not your time yet. You must go back. I have a message that you need to deliver to the church. And he said, oh no, Lord, please, I want to stay here. Hier as a blief, ek wil nie terug gaan nie. Dis so lekker hier so. Hy hoor die kinderkie speel, hy hoor die engele sing. Dit is beautiful in die jimmel. And he bowed his head and he said, My life has been, Father, not my will, but let your will be done. I surrender. Let your will be done. And when he made that choice, the tunnel opened. And again, like lightning, fast, he was back. And he was in his body and he heard his friend sing, What a friend we have in Jesus. And he said, terug. Amazing story. But a lot of people have written about near-death experiences and they if they're Christians, they tell us this kind of a story. And what I want to show you tonight, what we learn about our spirit, watch. My spirit has a mind. He could come back and tell us about heaven. My spirit has a will. He made a choice to say, Father, not my will, but let your will be done. My spirit has emotions. He heard and he felt the love and he, and he just, it was so amazing. His emotions were so touched in heaven. And so I see that is why it is so important to understand Hebrews 4 verse 12. Wat sê dat die woord van die Heere soos twee snydende swaard. Wat scheiding bring tussen gees en siel. Sien, hierdie is verskrikkelijk belangrijk dat ons dit moet verstaan. Want as ons nou kom by innerlijke geneesing, dan is daar wonde in my gees wat ek moet bedien. Wat anders te is as die sielbediening. As jylle by. En die Heere sê dat my twee snydende swaard bring scheiding. Dis so fijn, dis dis in murg en been. I mean, you know, jylle weet wat doen die murg. Maak die bloed. Die lewe is in die bloed. So we know that spirit, this is the part that keeps me alive, gives me life on earth. And so I need to understand that if I've had a spirit wound, for example, that abortion, attempted abortion, as, as dit is wat jy deurgegaan het, is het a wound. If you've been through a divorce, Spirit wound. Wonder wat jy opdoen wanneer jy kleintijd, babiekie tyd, kleintijd is. Baie keer is gees wonde. Is nie siel, daar is, daar is die wonde ook in die sielste mensie, maar die dieper wonde wat jy baie meer mee sikkel, is a gees wond. And that's when it comes to betrayal. En ek gaan nou nou vir julle die skrif te gee, dat julle kan sien waar staan het in die bybel, dat daar een verskil is, tussen wonde in my siel en wonde in my gees. En so wat ek hier leer is dat hierdie twee werk, siel kan niks doen as, as lichaam, as hy slaap of wat ook al, hierdie twee, hulle moet saamwerk, maar gees. En dis wanneer ek dan bedien en En as jy aan die uiterlijke kyk, then it looks, oh Lord, this is impossible from the outside. But Lord, I am now going to address the spirit. So Janae, you, spirit man, you've been made to lead. You've been made to be the head and not the tail. Soul man, by the way, you have done a very good job. But you know what? You can't lead anymore. I'm sorry. I know you don't like it. And I know that this world system has taught you to be the leader. Mm-hmm. You've got to be first in class. You've got to win the race. You've got to be the best. You've got to be the manager. You've got to be at the top. But that's all soul. But 
you need to understand God made, God is spirit. And so he made spirit to lead. He made spirit when God breathed. He made spirit life. And so you waited a while before you could do anything. But I know the world system taught you all wrong. And I know that every time you've had to step forward and you had to lead and you had to take, you know, you've done a good job. Rechtig. Jy het baie goed gedoe. Verstaan dit. Jy was altyd beste en die mooiste en die slimste. Al die dinge. <laughs> jy ziet maar die wereldsysteem sê, een is beter as die ander. Maar die Heere sê, we are all equal. But if I look at soul, I don't see that. Because, you know, we boost the een, die een boor die ander. And that's not God's way. So, soul man, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you a very important thing. You've now seen God is spirit. He's not soul. So, I've got to ask you, you've got to step aside. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to. <laughs> okay, spirit man, come forward. And you must with your spirit man praat. David did it. David spoke and he said bless the Lord O my soul want die seal wou nie o jyte nou met hy vas en hy reik hy lekker brood bless the Lord O my soul hy wil nie, die seal sê ek's honger en hy maag rom want ons hou hier die twee werk saam nee, hulle twee is a team but if I want to walk in the spirit and I want the fullness of the spirit then I have to know that spirit has to lead, but I've got to feed the spirit. And the only way the spirit can grow is through blessing. Now, I don't know from you, but my pa was an alcoholist. So, we had five kinderkies, a lot of armoede, a lot of work, a lot of drama in the house. My pa was bekend as Dronk Davi, and I was Dronk Davi's daughter. So jy draai een leibel, jy het een mantel van sk- skande en skamte. Ek sit voor een kroeg as een kind, so ek groot geword het. Ek grew up in front of a pub. Ek het drank gehad, ons moes vir hy oomies altyd sing. Ons klomp loukies het gesing. My pa wil breek met ons, want ons sing vir die oomies in die kroeg. That was my life. So I grew up with a lot of baggage. A lot of wounds in my soul and in my spirit. But I didn't know it. Ek dacht is normaal, so wie ek is. Ek het tiks toe gekom, jylle, om hier te kom, swat. Stikkend, stikkend. Ek moes op een beers, my pa het gesê, vir wat wil jy swat? Een vrou mens swat moes nie, een vrou mens het nie geleerdheid nodig nie. Sê, ek moes trouwe en babies kry. Why do you want to study? En ek moes een beers gaan kry en ek moes maar gaan le- leer. But I said I was going to study. I just thank God for my mother because it was my mother that said, get your education. They, both of them only had standard six, grade eight. So they had no education, but my mother said, if I had education, I wouldn't have suffered like this. Get your education. And so all five of us got our degrees through mom. And she worked very hard to get us into Studying, we got bursaries and we had to work it back. It was hard. And baie wonder, baie dinge in my leven. And ek nie besef al hierdie goed nie. En ek het hier gekom tiks toe en ek was so stik, so stik. Die Heere se genade oor my, ek het tot bekering gekom hier so radikaal tot bekering. And God really did such a deep work. If, if he didn't, I could have been a prostitute, I could have been a lesbian. So many things. I could have been an alcoholic, a drug addict. But God, everything was there. The potential was there. My bloodline was rotten. My oma teek op is gelees. So I was open for the occult. Verstaan jylle, soveel goed wat met ons leven kan verkeerd gaan en ons gaan in verkeerde goed en doen dinge. And so there are wounds. And I want to tell you that my whole life growing up until the age of 40, 
I never heard one blessing out of my father's mouth. I don't know what it's like to get onto a dad's lap. Ek verstaan dit nie. Ek weet nie wat het is om my papa te hee. Wat veel veilig laat voel, beskerm laat voel. I don't understand that. And so, it was only when I turned 40, that my pa had to verskrikkelijk gedrink, sy lever was gaar. He had cirrhosis of the liver and he was very sick. And I, was, I went to a service where they said, who will stand in the gap? Who wants to stand in the gap? I verstaan toe nie eers, wat's dit nie? How do you stand in the gap? Ek sê, maar ek gaan staan in die gap vir my pa. <laughs> I mean, you know, I had like no faith for my father to be saved. I had faith for everybody else, but my dad, I'd say, God, do you know my father? Hey, do you know him? Hy is so trots, en hy, jy, jyre, ek weet nie of jy hom kan red nie. But I went and stood in the gap, and a couple of weeks after that, I got a call. My mom said, dad was very bad. Went home from Pretoria down, all the way down to Port Chepstone, Seidkus, Natal, waar groot geword het, geboor is, en groot geword het. En ons in die huis ingestap, en pa was, hy het horries gehad op die stad where you see little green men and where you lose your mind because of alcohol poisoning. And I, was more, I could speak more easily to my headmaster at the school than to my father. I had no relationship with my dad whatsoever. I hated him. I had no respect for him, yet I feared him. My part was verschrikkelijk bang gemaakt. It was gedreig met een geweer om ons te skiet. So I knew a lot of, my dad was very aggressive. There was a lot of anger, murder when he was drinking. He was very abusive. And I saw all of that. I saw the ugly part of him. And so I hated him, yet I feared him. Julle weet, dis a daai, oh, sterrebel om so huis groot te word. Jy so stikkend. En Daar het die Heere toe gesê, ga na jou pa toe. Ga bring vir hom hierdie woord. Die Heere as een plief, ek is so bang vir hom. En ek het hierdie woord by die Heere gehoor en ek het al bewind, het ek daar ingestap en ek het vir hom die woord gebring. En daar het my pa omgedraai. En het sy hart vir die Heere gegee. En hy was vijf jaar, was hy nuchter, En vijf jaar het ons een nuchter opa gehad, want ons die kleinkinders daar, en een nuchter pa. En in die vijf jaar het ek gehoor hoe hy ons sien. But growing up for 40 years, I never heard that. And the only way that your spirit can grow, nou wat vraag jylle vanavond, hoe lyk jou gees? My gees was totaal anoreksies, jylle, Ek was so swak. As iemand net vir my skeef kyk, woe, jette, dan is ek nou in een toestand. Ek is born again, jylle moet dit weet, gloria, halleluja, op pad jy moet toe. But I was still so broken, because I was never blessed. My spirit man was never built up, and the only way you make your spirit man strong is through blessing. So dads have been called, number one, to bless. En jou kinders moet het hoor. So die, ons die hele teaching gaan nou nie vanavond op dit in hebben. Hoe papa's, hulle kinders moet bless. Van die oomlik wat mama hoor, sy swanger, papa, bless die kind. Dra die kind sy gees op aan God. Connect the spirit of your baby with God's spirit immediately. That's your job as a dad. Jy is nie eerste skrynwerker a IT man, uh, whatever your beroep is, that's not who you are. First of all, you're a dad, you're a father. Ek het so respect vir een van ons cricket ouwens, wat nou bedank het. Weet jylle hoekom? I say, I don't want to be another statistic where my children don't know me because I'm all over the world with the cricket. But my children don't have a father. And he's resigned to go back to be a father. Is dit nie mooi nie? What 
an example. God is calling back the hearts of the fathers, back to the children. And the hearts of the children are turning back to the dads. And so it is so belangrijk. Jy moet weet wie is jy. Who like jy vanaan? What does your spirit man look like? What do you, what, in your spirit, what do you believe about yourself and your father in heaven? What, what's happening with your will? Do you, are you still doing your own thing? And what about your emotions? Do you feel the love of the father? Weet jylle, baie keer, omdat mense nog nooit, hulle is nog so stikkend in hierdie area, they haven't had the restoration, and their spirits are still so broken, as hulle voor en toe kom vir gebed, en ek bid vir mense, kan ek rechtig voel, I can, it's just, it's just the flow of the spirit, that when I, I pray with people, I can feel if their spirit receives it, en vat het, en ander kan nie, En hulle staan, en hulle staan, en hulle staan, en ek wil heil, want ek was ook daar. I also stood in the row. En ek staan, en ek staan, en amal het hierdie amazing glory ervarings, en hier staan Amanda, en ek ervaar niks. Ek sê, ach jyre, ek sal weer die zwart skap. Jy weet, dis nou maar jou verwerping kop. En ek moest deurbreek, en ek moest verstaan, hoe kom? Why couldn't I get a breakthrough with my father in heaven? So I want you to just think, where are you? Where's your spirit? And where's your wound? Because means must lay. That's how God says, walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Walk in the spirit. That's his, his way. That's his way. But by of us, Ons is born again, glory, hallelujah, maar ons wandel in die vlees. Want ons geest mens is so swak. And so we have to start to build our spirits. En deel van hierdie naweek is hoe bou ek my geest, dat ek kan begin sterker word en opstaan en weet wie my pa in die himmel is. En hoe kan ek in een oorwinning leef op aarde? Dis moes waarvoor Jesus gesterf het. That's why he gave his life. That we can walk in victory. So ek hoop rarig dat ek julle help verstaan. Wie is jy? Wat is jou gees? And spirit man, I bless you. I bless you to be the head, not the tail. I bless you to walk with the joy of the Lord that he's placed within you, ek sien ontzettend joy, en dat jou joy, sal so oorloop, en ander aansteek, soos een aansteeklike siekte, maar een goeie een, van joy, dat jy net mense aan die brand steek, waar jy kom, ek bless jou met die joy, laat het oorloop, en dit wat jy droom, in jou hart, Man, hulle was een oulike family, kom ons gee hulle hande klap, halleluja, dankie julle, thanks John, you are the brain, <laughs> the body, there we go. <laughs> ok, so wat ons nou geleer het, that the, the, the spirit has mind, will and emotions, the, the soul has a mind, will and emotions, so nou moet ons fijn onderskui, jyre help ons twee snijdende swaard, en ek wil hee, jylle moet vanavond gaan bid, when you go home, stop praying, even now, while you're listening, begin te bid, Vader, bring die gees, bring scheiding, Heere, dat ek precies kan weet. Nou wil ek julle vraag, do ek nou vir Janai Bles, het ek nie my oor toe gemaak, Vader, ek dank jy in die naam van Jesus, dat ek nou vir Janai kan bles. That's a prayer and that's fine, daar is niks fout met dit nie. But what did I do? Ek het in haar oor gekyk, because your eyes are the windows of the spirit. And so I looked her in the eyes and I spoke a blessing into her spirit. This is what God my gewaas het. She's been gifted with joy. There's a huppel and a hopnet all over the place of joy. But it's a gift. It's a gift. Om mense aan die brand te sit met joy. Om mense te lig. It's a gift. Now, how many of you, when I spoke that into her spirit, had you iets gevoel, die binnenkant so, so maak, 
dass ich auch hier ist. Hat sie, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. Let your spirit, because spirit cries out to spirit. Und ihr uns mit mehr Kontakt machen. Maar die Heere vrou, Vader, jylle manne, ook so lief vir die manne, want weet jylle, hylle met hylle linkerbrein, daar die brein, die Heere het moos een man speciaal gemaakt, en as hy hylle vorm, dan doen hy so'n bykie breinskade met die manne, maar dis ook al raad, <laughs> dis Godse breinskade, dis al raad, maar hy doen een ding met die manne se brein, dat hy drip hier die testosteroon op sy brein stam, en dan gebeur een paikie split, En dit gebeur net dat sy linkerbrein baie sterk dominant word. En sy rechterbrein so bykie krimp. A little bit small. Dit gebeur nie met ons girls nie. Alto in ons breine werk 100% en... <laughs> Dis ook om ons baie kan praat en al die dinge. But you see, with the, with the guys, God made him with, with that left brain because... He's a visionary. Hy sien dinge. En, en hy werk met die doel. En hy, kyk, ons geer die kleur in sy leven, girls. Dit is nou maar so. Hy sien swart en wit en that's it. Lees net die hoofopskrif. Dit is ook om Rowley sê, hy onthou net syke sleetelwoorde, net om vir my te kan antwoord. Hy het geluister. But you see, that's how God has made a man, and we need each other. We need the men in our life, because girls, we can so easily go off track. And we need the guys just to keep us on track, because they see further. And they've been assigned as the watchmen over us. And so when it comes to these things of God, it's baie keer moeiliker vir a man om rarig God te kan beleef. Want sy linkerbrein is so sterk ontwikkel en hy analyseer en hy beredeneer en so manne, jylle moet speciaal vanavond bid, dat die Heere jylle help, that God will help you to discern between spirit and soul. And that you, you say, Father, bring that two-edged sword, because it's my spirit that must lead. I need to be touched by your spirit in my spirit. Dit help nie in die seel nie, jylle. The soul is the world's way. And we've been taught wrong. We've had to be the best and the strongest and first and all of that. That's the world's way. God's way is we're equal. We, are, we have equal value before him. We're all made in his image. And every one of us have got special, unique gifts. And so we need to understand this whole thing about the difference between the spirit and the soul. And then I see that the body has a brain that's got to grow and the soul expresses itself through the body. And this 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 says, and may the God of peace himself sanctify you. So this whole process of this weekend, I get no feel of a day like born again. And that's, I, I get reignited to my source. I cry where I fear in me, the fire of God. And I see God is burning inside of me. But that's only step number one. Now start sanctification, heilig maken. Through the separate, to separate you from profane things, making you pure and holy consecrated to God. And now, kijk Godse orde. And may your spirit, kijk die orde, first spirit, then soul, then body, be preserved, sound and complete, and found blameless at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, God's order, first your spirit. So, ons moet begin roep en sê, Father, if we've been born again, but have our spirits been leading? How much blessing have I received in my spirit so that I can lead God's way? My spirit must lead, then the soul must follow, then the body must fall in line. And so there's just the picture of spirit following Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. And there we have soul and body. Kijk jylle die twee is aan mekaar gekoppel. One is dependent on the other. And so our spirit is light. Kom ons kyk een paar skrifte. 
Psalm 36 verse 9. That says, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light do we see light. So that is how I know that through God's light, I see light. This who ek aan brand is vir die Heere. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine. Jullie weet, ons het dit mos gesing in die sonneskool. Laat ons kyn vir Jesus met de helder glans. Onthou jylle, hallo lieve liekies. En jylle moet net nie sing, ek en my klein hoekie, en jy en jou klein hoekie. <laughs> nie die deel die hoer. But what is this verse telling us? That we have a light inside. Jy loop nie met die lamp in nie, as binnen in. He's saying, let your light shine, and through your eyes, when you go and buy bread, when you put in your petrol, look them in the eyes, say, how are you? I bless you for this day. It costs you nothing. Let your light shine. That the later for you say, man, wie is jy? Wat het jy? Jy kom altyd in die smile op jou dial. Dan sê, man, ek het die rede. My verlosser leef. And so, let your light shine. This is what God is saying. So that it, they may see your moral excellence and praiseworthy, noble and good deeds. And done gaan it to glorify your Father. So shine your light in front of other people. Then Isaiah 60 that says, Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Behold, darkness will cover the earth and dense darkness. But the Lord shall arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen on you. And done. Nations will come to your light. Is it not amazing? And even Kings to the brightness. Your boss is a koning. He shall come and say, What is it with you? You are always happy. You are always a lead and a joy. You are not the Quran to read today. You see, that's how we shine our light. And so that even kings are going to come to the brightness of your light. Skyn jou licht, skyn jou licht, waar ook al jy kom. En dan sien ons, the human spirit was designed by God to be actively involved in everyday living. Maar baie van ons geestmens het weggekryp. Generally, our spirit has not walked in dominion. Ons het nie, ons het nie in leierskap geloop nie. We did not walk in dominion. Taking authority as God told Adam to do, Adam and Eve to take authority. We haven't done that. It's because we have not been blessed. So God is saying to us, come on, we've got to call our spirits forward. Ons moet, hierdie orde moet ons recht kry. You have to grow the spirit to be able to take the lead. How? Het weet te groei, a plant. Maar Heere, my gees, hoe, hoe moet ek het doen? By speaking blessings to one another. So ons gaan iets prakties doen vanavond en ons gaan mekaar blees. You can bless their spirit by speaking the word. This is always safe. Jy kan die woord spreek. Soos ek gesê het, Janai, jy sê kop en nie die sterk nie. Dis woord. So jy kan die woord, soos wat God woord vir jou gee vir die dag. SMS somebody and bless them with the word. That's how our spirits will grow. And we have a responsibility. You know, our earthly fathers were broken. They did not bless our spirits. But we are now the family of God. And how do we then heal each other with Father God's love? Take his word like water. He said, water of my word. And water one another's spirits. And come as bless my car met die woord. As daar is a woord in your heart fall. SMS te deur, bel te deur vir jou sissies. Ek wil jou bless vandag met hierdie woord. And the spirit will start to grow. Numbers 6, verse 23 to 27. This is how God is teaching his people, specifically the priests, the fathers. This is the way you must bless the Israelites. Say to them, said it. 
Moe nie dit net bid in jou binnenkamer nie. Gaan laat hulle hoor. Laat jou kinders dit hoor. Kom ons sê dit hard vir mekaar. Kom ons sê dit. Ons kyk mekaar in die oor en ons sien mekaar met die woord. The Lord bless you. Watch God and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and enlighten you and be gracious, kind, merciful and giving favor to you. The Lord lift up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart and life continually. In dan vers 27, Fathers, when you do this, if you bless your wives and you bless your children, then God says, The fathers shall put my name upon the Israelites, the children, the wife. And done said the other, then I, God, will bless them. So God says, if we don't bless, he doesn't bless. Where are God's order? So God is calling us, are we truly blessing each other? We understand us here the of blessing. And so there it is, spirit man, I bless you. Dat ek kan hoor, jou kinders moet het hoor, jou vrou moet het hoor, jou man moet het hoor. Girls, as jylle een lekker psalm wil hee om jou man mee te bles, psalm 112. Oog is een lekker psalm daai, wat jy so oor hom kan bid en vir hom kan bles. Dit is een baie, baie sterk um, blessing for a man in leiderskap as father of the home. I've been given all I need for godliness. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 and 4 says alles wat ek nodig het God has given to me in my spirit. When I got born again, God put everything inside of me that I was able whatever I need God has given me. So ek moet net weet, I've got to tap in to the anointing that God has given me. Alles wat ek nodig het, het hy vir my gegee. En so, ek sien dit in hierdie skrif, en hy sê, by means of these, he has bestowed upon us precious and exceedingly great promises. God het het vir ons beloftes gegee. Hy het gesê, ek wil julle seen. Hy het vir ons gesê, hy wil ons genees. Hy het die beloftes gegee. Hy sê, hier, hy het vir ons hierdie beloftes gegees, so that through them you may escape from the moral decay, the rottenness and corruption that is in the world. And so, ach here, kyk hoe lyk baie van ons nog. <laughs> we are still in a mess because we've been looking outside. As daai ou vir my bid, en as daai een vir my bid, en as daai een, nou hierdie naweek wil ek hee, Jullie moet saam met my opkyk. Because the answer is with him. And in him and through him, he gives me everything I need. As jylle met my, we look up together. And help ons wat ons nie so lyk met die modder gegooi en ons het so hard probeer. Instead of inside for the resources, met ons moet heren, wat het in my gedeponeer? Dit is jy, jy lewe, jy opstandingskracht. Ek gaan morgen met julle deel, een fenomenale ding wat die wetenskapelik is nou ontdek het. Wat julle gaan dit opstuig, dit is amazing. Ek is moes een sky na die vrou, so ek watch al hierdie goede. Maar dat amazing dinge wat hierdie wetenskapelik is ontdek het, van die opstanding van Jesus. En, en wat in jou gedeponeer is, when you were born again, do you know the resurrection power that is inside? That God, sy saad, hy sê dan met wedergeboor, jy is nou weergeboor met God sy saad. So vader, as jy alles vir my geet, dan help het nie, ek soek buiten vir hulp nie. I find it in him. As jylle by, I will unlock it in him. Alles, alles is in hom. Hy het vir alles gesterf. Ok, so hier kom die skrif met pain in the, the difference between the spirit pain and soul pain. There are two types of pain and we need to discern pain in the soul from the pain in the spirit. Kom ons kyk die skrif. Job 7 vers 11. Therefore I will not 
restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. En so gaan jylle begin om die skrif te raak te lees, die verskil tussen die gees en die seel. So ek, kyk bykie die psalms, kyk David het sy hart so op, he wrote his heart in the, in, on the, in the word. Just read how he speaks about the, the spirit and then the soul. So who's got to teach me about my spirit? It can't be the pastor. God has appointed somebody else to teach me about my spirit. It's the mandate God has given the fathers. And so God is all about blessing. When they say, Paul, immediately after God creates man, he blesses man. And he connects man's spirit with his spirit. He was come and he was for Adam and he was given. He blessed them and he said, be fruitful and multiply. So before they got a job, he blessed them. Okay, now we see to bless means to remove all restrictions. It's amazing. As I think, the good that my pa op ons gesit het, my booties, I, if I think of my brothers, Jylle hulle het zwaar gekroon van my pa. En die, die, the insecurities, and the fears, and the lack of manhood, that my brothers suffered, because my dad never affirmed them, in their manhood, and never blessed them, as men, as his sons. And so, you carry a lot of baggage. Jy dra hierdie goed binnen in jou, en, you see net that to bless means I remove restrictions. But when I curse someone, it means I put limitations on them. So it's my pa, ach, you simple man, you can, who come drop you the ball? Man, it's your pap in your hand. You weet, and it's your alweer gedruip. I get to know you so nix can do in your life. And it's so good. Ma, I get in a man camp do in one of the men had, for him to come out, so geil. En toe ek sê, wat is het? Toe sê hy my maat vir my gesê, sê hy moes my dood geleed by geboorte. Jo, jylle, dis seer, dis seer. People have suffered a lot. My, grand, my, my grandpa was a hard man. You know what he did with his children? He, when they were naughty, en dan tel hy nou in die skier, sikke balke. Jylle ken een streepsak, milliesak, ne? that he couldn't in the millisakas upgang. And they had to hang there for the day. No water, no food. It was hard. And I was busy to in the kaap to bedien, and I said for my opa had a tongue gevat, and they had oor geknip. And the amazing thing was by the time they lived right next door to us, but by the time we started to get to know Opa, he'd met the Lord. And I can't feel a say, he was the greatest Opa for me. He was my pa for here. He was on the sport field. As I hit the ball, slaan, is Opa there. Come man, he loop by the ball. And Opa roep for me. And so was Opa, always there. Where my pa was there, it was Opa there. Amazing what God can do in your life after being so hard. And I'm busy telling the story about how my grandpa used to be and what he did with his children. And yo, a man sprung up and I hark at my snuck. And I ate by the deer and I was so scum and I had the yellow mole crack. And to not eat, I do a little bring. I say, please, I will die man seeing what it what can on. And to look at him. So I say, him up the hill, to sit the hall of the Sikui Sambok, so up his rug. I was 17, to jog his palm from the place off. To say, from the bad booty, gone. He was so verflook, restrictions. By the time I saw him, he was in his third marriage, he was busy with a divorce. No business. He couldn't do anything in life. Nothing he did worked because he was never blessed. There was restrictions. 
placed upon him. Limitations. And I'm asking you tonight, how many limitations was placed on your spirit? Because if you were cursed, as jy afgebreek is, as jy sleg gesê is, of het een juffrou is, of een ma is, of een pa is, of een opa, kon hou my oom, wat so geterg het, toe ons nou jong meisies groot word, en, en oor ons lichaam ontwikkeling, oh my jette, dit was verskrik, ek wil nie na waar hy oom kom nie, want hy die hele tyd so geterg, en, en die mense skam, en jy is so selfbewus, jy is een jong meisiekie wat bezig is om te blom, en hy maak het so vulgaar, limitations, restrictions, seksueel, oh jylle, as ek, Dink, ek en Rowley was 17 jaar getrouwd. En ek het so gesikkel om myself volkome te kan geheel aan hierdie man. Dat was so moeilik. En ek was born again. Ek het hier in tiks eerste jaar het ek tot bekering gekom, maar hier is ek getrouwd 17 jaar met hierdie man. Maar o, jette, ek is nou so in die slaapkamer en ek lees hierdie skrif. En het sê, Adam en Eva was naak en onbeskamd. Sê, vader, dit is ek nie. Want die lichte moet uit. Kijk nou, huis brand daar een licht. Niemand sê niks. 17 jaar, en die Heere challenge my, sê, kom Amanda, as jy sê, Jesus Christus is jou Heer en jou verloser, and he's redeemed you from the curse. Why are you still walking with shame? God moes het diep werk doen met my. En dit was iets wat met my gebeur het. Ek was een klein dochterkie. En ek het wakker geword in die nacht en ek wou pieps. En ek is hier die gang af. En my pa was dronk en hy het uit die toilet uitgekom en hy was kaal. En die skok. Nou die ding het ek begrawe, morgen gaan ek met julle praat oor, oor hoe begrawe jy goed met skok. En ek het het begrawe. En toe ek vir die Heere sê, Vader, waar le hierdie ding wat ek so een vreselike obsessie het met skamte? Wees vir my die wortel van hierdie ding en die Heere vat my terug. En ek sien myself in die gang, as hierdie dochter ken, hy is my pa in sy naaktheid, en die skok, en die Heere help my, om my daai ding te deel, en die kruis toe te vat, en my pa te vergewe, en los te kom, jylle, toe ek weer by Rowley kom, met ons honeymoon, gauw, hy was so blij, woe, <laughs> dis ook om ek vir julle sê, hoe langer hy ou getrouwd is, hoe lekker dit raak dit, dis genuine, hoe rarig, En jy weet, toe ek met Rowley trouw, het hy a huge borskas. Nou, jylle ken daar is toe. Nou, die jare kom en die jare gaan en gravity vat oor. <laughs> en soos hy borskas het toe hankas geword. <laughs> Maak het nou meer om te druk. So, I still love him. Maak die saak nie. En so, wil ek vir julle sê, dat is goed wat ons beroof van volheid lewe because of these curses, limitations and restrictions that were put upon us. Ek is born again, ja, maar ek smaak nie die volheid van vrye wees, naak en onbeskant en my hevelik, waar ek myself kan gee vir my maat, maar ons het allerhande dinge in ons lewe. Ek het, ek het verhoudinge wat, wat net nie wil uitwerk, nie ksakkel. En, en hoor my hart, ons is ook nie hier om iemand te judge wat miskien gesky is nie. We not yet to judge you. We just yet to say, don't do it again. Kom ons leer. Let's get the healing. Kom ons hoor wat sê die vader. Ons wil niemand judge nie. Nie een van ons kan een klip optel. And so, Father, we want to bless. En ek wil hee, ons moet mekaar bless. Want jy weet nie wat dier jou boete of jou sissie gegaan het in kinderjare nie. What limitations we put on them. And so Matthew 12, 29 says, If you want to go into a strong man's house and carry off his goods, you've, what must you do? You've got to bind the strong man. So what has Satan done? Satan has come. 
en is bij hem de vaders. Hij is papa's gebind met allerhande goed, sport, werk. He's removed the fathers from the families. He's put fathers in jail. I told you I've worked in prison 10 years now. Worked with gangsters. Children that have grown up on the streets. They didn't have a dad. I was an overt in the cop. He had himself a tattoo. Jelle, the street is growing. He had a tattoo. It's a tattoo. Permanent tears. He had here on his neck he had a tau la tattoo, and he said, "Put the knot here." Galg. He is gehang op die ouwe, want dat ouwe vermoor. But you see, that's what life does. Mark your heart, and you can do it. Mark. Tien draan toe vir self woon. You feel nothing. And we really need to say, Father, what has put restrictions on me in my life? What is in my history? Waar is ek nie geblees nie? En hoe lyk my gees vanavond? What is my spirit man look like? And the dads that have been put in prison through alcohol, drugs. What, what has happened to our fathers? And what happens then is Satan can come and plunder the woman and the children. He can come and destroy their lives. And that's what happened in our family and it's happened in so many of our lives. This my own stories, what ons het om te vertel. Satan het, het Jesus' woorde gevat in Matthäus 12 vers 29. En het gesê, kom ek bind die sterk man van die huis, die pa. Let me remove the men. Let me break them down. Let them believe that they nothing. Dat ek by die vrou en die kinders kan uitkom. And that's what's happened. It happened in the garden. He took Eve. And the whole deception happened. And so we just see the brokenness generation after generation. And so as priests, fathers are commanded to uh, blessed by speaking God's word as fathers put God's name. Soos wat, soos wat jy jou kinders seen, soos wat ons mekaar seen met Gods woord, is het asof ons Godse naam skryf op ons voorkoppe. Isn't that amazing? Then when Satanists want to curse you, they can't because God's name is on your forehead. Ons moet mekaar rechtig blees. Put God's name on each other's foreheads. Sit it up your kinder, sit it up your vrou, up your man. They declare, the, the husbands, the fathers, declare the child's worth and purpose. Jylle, ek het so gesoek. Jere, wat maak ek op aarde? Wat is my doel? Wat wil jy met my leven doen? Because my father never blessed me. I didn't know my worth. I didn't know my purpose. A father gives the child the right to exist. It's not amazing. It's not my money. Papa. It's a dad. And that's the big word, legitimacy. Declares you legitimate. And so how God heals our hidden hurts. And I will not afsluit met hierdie. Ek weet, it's Friday aand. It's nine o'clock. How does God heal? Ons gaan nou more lekker diep water in. But how does God heal? Two ways. There are two ways of working on a broken car. We see it a lot in South Africa. Broken cars. Langs die pad. Maak oop. Kijk binnen. Kijk wat's fout. En uh, daar is twee maniere. Ons sien, oh, wow. Check, check, check. Lichies, lichies, lichies. Oh no. Hier is fout. Nou, as dat ek te lichie. My car. En as elke keer wat Rowley in my car klim, dan brand hy lichie. Dan sê hy vir my, my vrou, hoekom gooi jy nie petrol in? Hy sê, ek is nie lus nie, nie tyd nie. <laughs> hy moet elke keer vir my gaan petrol in gooi, want is altyd hierdie lichie. Nou, wat ek kan doen, is ek kan nie hammer vat, nee. en ek kan hy lichie stik en kap, want hy irriteer my. <laughs> maar, ek dink nie, dit sal een goeie kies wees nie. 
Okay, I make a choice. Choice one, take the shortcut. What I can do, I can go on my dashboard and climb, and I can so be kidding around and begin to knip and see near my nighting plow for me. And then I can keep on driving. My I can mull up it, can I? And that's where a lot of the church is. But what I for you will say is, the lights on your dashboard is your emotions. Think more. And our spirit it work emotions, and as our restrictions us, as its spirit wound, when this fluke. No frog for you who like your emotions. The ones that some of you live on your dark, I look on fools, my for them. But you for my for them and say, Ah, man, it's all right, it's fine. We think all of us is fine. David it say, work, I say, Ah, here I help my. Uno shook my heart, but take my own heart is bedrieglik. En so vraag die vader, Heere, wees my, wees my vanavond, hoe lyk ek? Heere, het ek, het ek hierdie emoties, wat net uithak, wat ek so kort word. Iemand moet my nie trigger, en dan verloor ek dit. Ons ek sondig in die kerk, Gloria, halleluja, prijs die Heere. <laughs> Bad jy mil toe, jy mil toe. We sing dit in ons jabula. Maar maandag, dinsdag. Dan zit er aan een story, nee. So ek vraag vir jou, hoe lyk die lichies op jou dashboard? Flikker hulle. Want dit is my emoties, waar ek uithak, of ek gaan in een gat van depressie, en het vat my hoe lang om daar uit te kom. En nou moet ek by een dokter uitkom, en ek moet antidepressante kry, en hoor my hart mooi, Lucas was ook een dokter, so as jy moet pille kry om jou op die pad te help, dis oké, okay. ons judge jou nie, maar ons wil jou daar uit te help, ons gaan jou nie op die pille hou nie, we want to get you out of that, but it's possible that you maybe need tablets to help you to stabilize, get a chemical balance, ons het al met ouwens wat baie seer het, wat dier verskrikkelijk trauma is, en dan moet ons hulle verhurk op medikasie, sit dat ons by die wortels kan kom, because they're so unstable, you can't work with them. So ek vraag jylle, hoe gaan het met jylle, as iemand jou trigger, wat maak jy, maybe you've got a pattern, that when you do lose it, like the one guy said, eeuw, as my vrou net jong, sy moet net a ding doen. En dan sy in sy kar, en hy is kroeg toe, en hy gaan drink, hy omdronk. En hy spreek, Jy sien nou sikke goed is wat ons moet vir die vader vraag. Father, what's in my life? Let's be honest. Hal af die masker. You can't bluff God. You can try and bluff everybody else. Glory, hallelujah. But you can't bluff God. And this weekend, it's about being real. Let's face the truth about where do we come from? Where am I in my life now? Kan ek rechtig in my verhouding, in my hevelik, met my kinders, met my boeties, my sissies, genuine liefhe, because we are commanded to love one another, but can I? I remember that I would say to people, I love you, my jong, ek trust jou niks, no way, trust jou niks, because I learned not to trust. Jy sien, as jy swaar groot word, no way do you trust. Jy watch jou rug hele tyd, Kijk, my adrenaline het gepomp die hele tyd. Because I grew up in a, in a home of fear. So I was watching my back the whole time. Not knowing where I was going to get the next hit from. And that forms you. And so, we need to say, Father, what's flashing? Oh, I had anger. Oh, jylle, ek het so permanente fronsie. My kinders kon nooit, altyd kwaad, my sonde, Loeja, prijs die Heere. Oeh, maar die Heere week verskreek hulle. I had all that anger inside of me. With Rowley, joh, ek was kwaai met hom. Later het hy maar net stilgeblij om die vrede te bewaar. Geen man gaan op my kop sit nie. My maas woorde. 
Maar je ziet dus daar goed wat je vorm. En dan breng je dit in jouw huwelijk in. And you're bringing all the bondage with you. You've got to ask the Father, who like your Lieve, what is on your dashboard tonight? So choice two, thank you toch ons het nog gekeese. Actually get down to the root of the problem. And this is what at my gebed is dit for elke en van jylle. Let's get down to the root of the problem. Kom ons kyk wat's fout. Let us find out what happened, what went wrong. What went wrong in my life? What was my relationship with my dad? Misschien, misschien het jy langs een graf gestaan as een kind en jy het jou pa of jou ma verloor. Nou, hoe verwerk jy dit? Morgen gaan ek vir jou verduidelik hoe die brein ontwikkel. Ek is Amerika toe en ek het gaan leer oor die brein en brain scans En ek het specifiek gaan kyk oor verslaving. I wanted to see what does addiction do? Because my dad was this addict. And I wanted to learn. And so they, there was uh, amazing teachings that they're doing in the States. And I went to learn. And I saw the brain scans. I'm going to show you them tomorrow. It's done by a guy called Dr. Amen. Hallelujah. Hy het goeie naam. Hy is a kind van jere. And so he does brain scans. And where people's lights on the dashboard are flashing. There's addictions, there's anger, there's a, a cheater. A ou wat op sy vrou kroek die heel tyd. Man, hy slaap by die girls die hele tyd. And sy vrou sê, I've had enough. I've just had enough. I'm not going to take it another. I'm divorcing this man. And hy sê, wacht, kom ons scan sy brein. And hy scan sy brein en hy sien die patroon van a typische cheater. En hulle sê, bach, ons kan jou help. And of course, that's why the Bible says you've got to renew your mind. So it's, when you pray, as a, as a therapist, as a counselor, you are much better equipped now, because now you understand there's a brain, a physical brain problem. Dit is nie net a spiritual ding wat ek moet recht bid nie. Hoor jylle? I've got to start praying about the pathways of the brain and the damage that's actually on the brain. Jylle gemore, gaan jylle sien hoe lyk dit. En ek kon verstaan nou soveel beter van my pa en hoe die dinge gewerk het. So, let's ask the Lord. Maybe there's, there is an addictive pattern in your life. Misschien is het koos. Misschien is het sigarette. Misschien is het seks. Masterbasie, pornografie, whatever. But let's ask the Father. Lord, we want to get to the root. Ons wil by hierdie wortel uitkom. Want toe Jesus sterf, en hy uitgeroep het, it is finished. Toe is het finished. He paid the price. And so, there's no excuse. I've got to find the answer. En ek vraag dat jylle saam met my na die troon. Kom ons bestorm die troon. En sê, Vader, wees vir Wat is die wortel van hierdie lichies op my dashboard, wat vlakker. And so, when I've got the root problem, my car is fixed. In a car is altyd symbolies van a bediening. And so then you can drive off and serve the Lord. And jy kan ander bedien. So dit is my gebed, dat jylle rarig dit sal beleef, that you go home tonight, let's prepare for tomorrow. Ek weet is vrijdag, Ons is moeg, a lang week. And we want to go and just quiet in our hearts. Jy het nou baie gehoor vanavond. Jy het gesien hoe werk die gees en die siel. And we really want to trust the Lord to get to the root. Morgen gaan ons dinge oopmaak. Rarig dieper water in. En ons gaan die brein kyk. En ons gaan sien dat as alle trauma wat jy beleef voor die ouderdom van 12 aanvaar jy as een kind, dis my fout, it's my fault, it's, it's me. En ek gaan die vijf trauma's met jylle deurwerk, en ek gaan vir jou verduidelik hoe jou brein werk, dat jy nie die chemikalie het in jou brein, om trauma te hanteer voor die ouderdom van 13. So morgen gaan ons bykie kyk na die ontwikkeling, en dan gaan ons vraag, dat die, dat die heilige gees vanavond vir jylle sal verder oorbreek morgen, Wat het in jou kinderjare gebeur? Is dat goed wat miskien jou 
Dit was so traumatisch, jy het het uitgeblok. En dis begrawe, maar dis in jou onderbewustsein is daar. En dan vraag sy Heer om die hekke oop te maak. Because he is the king of glory. Let the ancient gates of my mind be opened. Let the king of glory come in. Dat ek gezond kan word. En dat ek rechtig die erfporsie kan vat waarvoor hy gesterf het. Amen. Julle iets geleer vanavond. Ek vertrouw rarig julle het lekker kosbakkie om huis toe te vat om aan te gaan kou. En morgen begin ons. En dat ons dan die diep water vat. Kom ons staan. Rowley, as my man, kan jy kom bid asjeblief. Oké. Okay. Kom ons bid net saam. Jemelse Vader, ons wil net vir die baie dankie sê vir vanavond. Dankie Heere dat...